Hello, Michigan. For the first time in history, you can impact on how district maps will be drawn in Michigan. Come learn and address the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission about its role in drawing maps for Michigan's congressional, Senate, and House districts at public hearings held at the Village Dome at Fellowship Chapel in Detroit on Tuesday, June 15th, 6 p.m., or at TCF Center on Thursday, June 17th at 6 p.m. You draw the line. Your district, your voice, your future. For more information or to locate a public hearing near you, visit www.michigan.gov slash M-I-C-R-C or call 833-U-DRAW. That's 833-968-3729. You're listening to WNZK, Dearborn Heights, Detroit. Your ethnic superstation, 690 days, 680 nights. Welcome to the Bright Side of Aging. My name is Ike Engelbaum. I'm a pharmacist and the publisher of AmericanSeniorGazette.org. It has been wisely said, you cannot help getting older, but you can help getting old. It has also been said that age is a matter of the mind. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. My purpose in doing the show is so that seniors and caregivers can share their ideas and questions on how we can age gracefully and in a vertical position for as long as our good genes will allow. And if we've inherited bad genes, how to outwit them. Our topics include senior housing, financial, legal, safety, travel, health issues, interesting senior events in the community, and most of all, Tips on how to put old on hold. Do you like snacks? Well, why don't you try the Auri Bakery folks that have now created three new flavors of gluten-free granolas. Maple vanilla, blueberry, and toffee chocolate. All sold in 16-ounce bags for just $4.99. All new is Ori's cinnamon pull-apart made with Danish dough and rich cinnamon filling. It's great with coffee or milk and hard to stop eating. You will find all these items at the Ori Bakery Market on Farmington Road between I-96 and Plymouth Road in Livonia. Try it out. As Jackie Gleason used to say, how sweet it is. For over 30 years, Cruz Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you'd like, Cruz Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you are over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like the free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980 that's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877-456-2789. The number direct is 877-456-2789. And welcome. And as you know, uh, in the tradition of Bob Allison, who unfortunately passed away and had phenomenal cookbooks, I uh, promised his family, that we would continue his heritage and all. If you visit with any of our sponsors, just call us, and I'll make sure that they have a free 
Bob Allison cookbook available for you, or we can mail it to you. And I operate on the old-fashioned system of uh, telephones. <laughs> and our toll-free number is 888-489-8980. You can call anytime. And if you press the first button, number one, uh, you can be connected directly to me. This is a great country, unfortunately, we're dealing with something we can't see, but it is overwhelming, but uh, where things are getting better, and it's so wonderful to be able to get out and see people as human being to human being. And I really uh, miss uh, the old-fashioned way of where you could just get together and hug and what have you. So we're doing less hugging. But that doesn't mean we have to go into shrugging. <laughs> and I uh, really am so glad to be able to connect with you via the radio. There is no danger of anything happening. And uh, I am so excited about having a real entrepreneur on. As you will know, I have the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan segment at 11.30. And we try to connect people with their talents and how to make money at it. Well, uh, the wonderful thing about this country, I love America, is that if you really have a passion and a talent and uh, the ability to do something that has a market that people want, you will really enjoy life to its fullest. And Keith and his wife, Deborah, are fulfilling the American dream. You're going to say, what do you mean by that, Ike? Well, uh, I have a bit of philosophy. Uh, the biggest two decisions you make in life is, number one, who you're going to marry, that you're going to spend your uh, personal life with. And number two, when it comes to the business world, why not use the same logic and find someone who can help you as a partner in your business career? Well, guess what? Keith and Deborah figured out the formula. You know what the formula is? You get married and you start a business. <laughs> Keith and his wife Deborah started Handy Pro Handyman Service 25 years ago this October. And that happens to be the month that I was born in. <laughs> and uh, they uh, uh, actually have a professional handyman service specializing in homeowners' to-do lists and homeowners' aging and place projects. We all hear that we're living longer than ever before. That's wonderful. The unfortunate part, and I pride myself on promoting the bright side of aging, is the fact that because we are living longer, we have the opportunity to make life easier as we age. One thing is for sure. The body parts don't quite work the same way. You find body parts that you didn't know existed <laughs> as you age. I'm 82 years old and don't mind telling you that uh, I don't run quite as quickly <laughs> as I used to. My tennis game is not as exciting for the opponent, <laughs> but I still love it. And uh, Keith is a certified aging in place specialist. There's a professional acronym called CAPS, C-A-P-S. And this, by the way, is not some frivolous little certificate program. I uh, have had the privilege of interviewing other people from the program. And if you truly want to live in your home setting for the rest of your life, with your partner hopefully, they're the people that you should call. And I'm really excited about the fact that they're living the American dream and not only having established a fantastic business locally, they now have franchises. They have 10 offices around the United States. And in 2020, Handy Pro received top 50 businesses to watch 
in Michigan through the Michigan Celebrate Small Business Organization. Hello, Keith. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wonderful, sir, and uh, I uh, have a new affiliation that I feel I have with you, whether you like it or not. It's ironic that your wife's name is Deborah, and so is my daughter. (laughs) All right, what a small world. Not only is it, they call it a coincidence, you're going to be celebrating 25 years in the business on, on my birthday month, and your wife's name is also Deborah. <laughs> so let's go. Right, right. <laughs> so you, what, uh, what day were you born in October? My son was born in October. October 7th. Oh, okay. My yeah. son's is the 26th. I just I, thought maybe we had something else in common as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I am very pleasantly surprised there are a lot of people that were born October 7th. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, so I uh, really uh, uh, feel good that I picked the right date. I had nothing to do with the date, by the way. I just thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> so what, what, what is ironic, Ike, is October 7th is our 25th anniversary for Handy Pro. We started October 20th, or excuse me, October 7th. Wow. October 7th, we started in 1996. Uh, well, so we do have that in common. Yeah, we'll have a party. <laughs> Happy birthday right. to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. How did Handy Pro get started? Um, well, first of all, thank you for having us on. And uh, I'm re- I really admire what you're doing and helping educate, you know, uh, people on different resources, whether it's financial or home services, or, uh, to help people as they age. So um, I really admire what you're doing. So thank you. Thank you. We, we started <laughs> the uh, company, Dev and I did, because her grandmother, who lived in uh, Allen Park, was uh, she was in her 80s as well, and she was having a kitchen remodeling project completed. And the uh, the craftsman came out and, and said, I'm sorry, I underbid the cabinets by $2,000, and I need another check. And so she, uh, being the trusting soul that she is, wrote him a check. And uh, the gentleman left, cashed it, and she never uh, saw him again. Hmm. And so, you know, that it's such a, a common story that uh, and Deb and I said, you know what? We know a lot of really good guy contractors. Why don't we just, you know, hire a few, and um, and then we can uh, refer them out to uh, uh, homeowners. Hmm. And uh, that's how Handy Pro was uh, was born. Hmm. And we started in 1996, and we had 10 craftsmen, you know, by year 2000, and we started franchising. Hmm. We have different offices in uh, anywhere from hmm. uh, Florida yeah. to Texas to Washington, D.C., and so forth. So we're having a blast. Yeah. Is this a great country or what? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it a- is the best. You know, we're, we're not perfect, but U.S. and oh. is the best country on the planet. I, I agree with you. Right. Well, the sad part is is that uh, we are spending more time, thanks to a lot of the uh, unscrupulous politicians. There are good politicians, but there's so many of them feel they can get elected by bad-mouthing our country. What they don't seem to realize is that in the process, other countries around the world uh, start bad-mouthing of us twice as much. And before you know it, we're fighting each other uh, unnecessarily. You know, uh, my name is Ike, and uh, one of my real mentors, so to speak, was Ike. Eisenhower, <laughs> and, yeah, and he uh, had a wonderful saying. He said that uh, people want a, a, have a society that's peaceful and harmonious so badly that one of these days the politicians would get out of their way and let them have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so hopefully we're getting closer and closer. And I really admire the fact that your wife is right alongside and she sounds like a smart lady and she advised you to go into that arena because I can't tell you how many calls I've gotten over the years on a show of people that you just brought out 
they come out and they did a deposit and uh, uh, to claim they have to pick up some uh, material and they never yet can get back to the job again. And uh, franchising, I think, is really a wonderful way for people to consider that if they want to go into business, uh, I've given seminars, in fact, on uh, uh, franchising because basically it's a system uh, whereby you are not alone and you have the support of talented people like you to back them up. And of course, because it's done as a team, you can afford to advertise and promote for them in a way that they couldn't possibly do it themselves. Uh, so uh, tell me a little about the aging in place. You have a universal design and home modification market. Wow, that sounds very impressive. <laughs> so tell me a little. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I'll be, be glad to. Um, you know, uh, thanks for mentioning the CAPS certification. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's designated by the Home Builders Association, and it's to help uh, contractors understand uh, that this market is really growing. In fact, um, there by Joint Center for Housing Studies, Harvard University says that there is going to be twice as many people that's going to be 80 years old from 2019 to 2030. So, um, and AARP says that 80% of people who are aging want to remain in their home. So there's a, a big, big trend happening um, that uh, if people want to remain in their home, how do you adapt your home to be safe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, that's what the CAP certification is. It's to help under people understand how to remain safe in your home and different products and different services that are around the home to help um, people age and, pay, and play safely. Mm-hmm. And for example, um, the... According to the CDC, Center for Disease Control, the number one most dangerous place in your home where people get hurt the most is in the bathroom. So there's a lot of products and services to keep you safe in your bathroom, such as grab bars, and you can put in walk-in tubs or transition showers where you don't have to step over your bathtub to get in. You can just walk right in. And if you're in a wheelchair, you can just uh, um, wheel your wheelchair in. So there's so many products and services out there to keep uh, um, you or your loved one safe. And that's what, uh, you know, our, our job is, and that's what your job is, like, you know, to help inform and educate people that you can remain in your home and you can do it safely uh, because there's so many different products and services to, to help you that way. Well, you know... Uh, I, uh, as I mentioned before, being a pharmacist in my prior career, I uh, uh, had uh, owl drugs where we service nursing homes and retirement homes. So I have a pretty good feel about that whole transitory process. Believe it or not, one of the most traumatic things, and I love a lot of the administrators and there's some phenomenal retirement homes and what have you. But it's not for everybody. You uh, you know, the, calling it home sweet home is not by accident. Uh, your home that you've grown up with and the memories and all the joys and uh, unfortunately some of the sad parts were in that home. But it's become, it's like your own museum. Suddenly as you age and because you can't climb the stairs, or, uh, you know, use a bathtub anymore, becomes so overwhelming that you move out of the very place that it's like tearing your roots if you were a tree out of the ground. And I know for a fact, and this is not made up and it can be checked out in statistics, the trauma of moving for many seniors seniors is, is so devastating that even... 
when they move a patient from a nursing home to another nursing home, the change is overwhelming for them. So you're doing God's work and helping people stay in their own home as long as they possibly can. And now, uh, House Calls on Wheels, one of my sponsors, we can uh, provide all the services necessary that you can stay in the home. And uh, I wondered if you could walk us through, literally, let's say someone calls you. What is your phone number, by the way? Uh, how can sure. people get a hold of you? Uh, sure. They can look online at handypro.com, H-A-N-D-Y-P-R-O.com, or they can call us at 248-476-4435. That's two four eight four seven six four four three five. And I always like to give out my toll free number because a lot of people are, have heard it and it's easier for them to remember, which is one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. So tell me the process. Someone calls you at uh, your number two four eight four seven six four four three five. Uh, you send someone out or you go out yourself and do an assessment. Is there a charge for that initial visit? Right, right. There is a $39 uh, charge um, for us to come out and uh, see what your, your needs are and give you a you know, consultation on what you, uh, um, what you know, our benef- what benefits and products are out there to help you. Um, and then if you go with the project, it's, completely deducted Mm -hmm. so um yeah so if somebody calls us and they need a a ramp or they need a stair lift or they you know some some work in their bathroom or maybe even an automatic door opener um you know we do door widening you know because if you get a wheelchair ramp you have to widen some doors um you call us out and we go out there and uh, um give them assessment give them an estimate and uh um they don't have to take it if they do then uh, we just schedule at their uh, convenience. Mm-hmm. And I very see. low pressure, you know. We're here to help kind of mentality. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I was very impressed with just our getting to know each other by phone, uh, and you, you got, uh, and I envy you in a way. I know I, my full name is Ike Engelbaum, and here you've got two. First name is Keith Paul. <laughs> How the heck did you pull I that out? I answered it either. Yeah, what time is dinner? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, both are great. Uh, remember, you're okay with Keith, as I like to say. I'm just wondering, in terms of uh, the projects, I assume you have financing programs available uh, if people want to spread out the payments. Uh, we do. We we have a, a third party um, organization that they can do financing if they would like to, mm-hmm. um, and then they they just, you know, they can make monthly payments over a period of time, whatever mm-hmm. works for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know now uh, we're in the techie world. Uh, have you found the uh, technology has made it easier? For a lot of these homeowners, you know, we have. Um, I thanks for asking. There, you know, like I mentioned before, they have automatic door openers. Um, they have, um, you know, programmable thermostats. Hmm. So if you you know want to turn it up or down, you know, automatically, you can do that. Hmm. Automatic doorbells uh, for those with arthritis. Um, they have. Uh, um, you can unlock your doors um, <laughs> through your phone, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. There's so much technology out there that it's helping uh, people to remain safe, right? Yes. You know, we heard of the I've fallen and can't get up, yes. you know, emergency response if you have fallen and you and you live alone. So, right. well, so many different things. Yeah, right. Now, as far as... These automatic openers and all, do you do the installation yourself or do you farm that out? How does that work? Um, no, no, we, we do it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, uh, wow. you know, the, uh, the stair lifts, depending on which city or county that you're in, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, some cities, uh, they, they have to have us farm it out, but most of them, like city of Detroit, we have to farm it out, but, uh, most everywhere else we can do the installation ourselves. Hmm. But either way, they hmm. get a professional job done by Andy Pearl. <laughs> right. Well, in talking to you, I get the feeling that, uh, it's not a matter of just, you know, you're doing the physical part, but you also assist in the mental part to help people adjust to what they have. And this is something that I've uh, really been frustrated with in the sense uh, you mentioned about the bathroom is probably one of the biggest areas. There's also the kitchen area, which they say is either the first or the second place uh, also for accidents. And so you can lower shelves, I assume, and make it more convenient for drawers to come out of a cabinet as you age that that's godsend. Isn't that true? Oh, a- absolutely. There, there's so many things that you can do in a kitchen with making adequate turn space. You can put uh, protected plumbing, easy faucets. If you have arthritis, you can put easy faucets. You can put a roll under sinks. You can lower cabinets. So many things that you can do to, to remain safe in your home and, and enjoy yourself while, you, while you're there, too. Mm, wow. Uh, you know, uh, this is so simple, uh, an idea that I even understand it. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> many people fall in the bathroom, and when their body falls against the door, and because the hinges are set up so that you have to push the door in, I've often said, wow, wouldn't that be great? Uh, because so let's say you want to help someone just fall in the, uh, in the bathroom, but you can't get in because their body is blocking opening the door. Wouldn't it make sense to have a, uh, the uh, door being able to be open both ways <laughs> just by changing? Right. Right? So, uh, this, I love that. Right, well, and we can make it happen. This is Keith, Paul, and Deborah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and uh, if you, th- uh, I have taglines for a lot of my stuff. So if you think it, they can do it. <laughs> and, right, there you go. <laughs> it's something to think about anyway. <laughs> but uh, when you analyze it, really, the beautiful part about what you're doing is that let's say someone especially now uh, with a housing shortage and what have you uh, depending on the size of the home and all you could reconfigurate the entrance and all so that if you have uh, people that want to bring in their relatives and share in the rent and then stay in the same house that's doable as well so uh uh, you've picked the right field, and you obviously picked the right wife as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, very blessed, very blessed. Uh, and uh, I uh, just wondered, uh, do you uh, offer uh, sort of doing a walkthrough as to what the uh, home owner should consider doing uh is that part of your procedure you go in and say hey you know if you uh, had a grab bar here and a grab bar there or the uh, railings that uh, could be uh, extended to make it easier uh, do you give suggestions like that as well absolutely um you know we, we don't we don't call it an audit but it really is we find out what their immediate needs are um let them know that you know, what the services and products are out there that can help them, then we find out what their long-term needs are. Hmm. And we, we can put them on like a, a growth. Well, you know, for right now, you, know, you put a couple grab bars right here. You can get out off the toilet. You can get uh, you know, into the shower safely. But as you age, you know, you might have to have a door widening or a wheelchair ramp or, or stair lift. Um, and this is what it would look like. And so uh, we can help. Let them know. And, and like, here, here's a perfect example. I, you know, instead of door widening, sometimes we can put on expansive hinges, right? So mm-hmm. instead of the door just opening, it opens outward and, and around the hinges, allowing somebody to get in uh, and out of their rooms mm-hmm. um, easily and very affordably. <laughs> wow. So, wow. Yeah. There's more to yeah. talk about. We'll have to talk uh, in our next visit. And, uh, 
by all means, uh, call 248-476-4435 or our magic toll-free number 888-489-8980. It's been a delight to talk to you, Keith. You're okay, man. <laughs> right now, <laughs> right now, I gotta wrap it up with my favorite parting thought, which is, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. And that's why we call it the present. Please enjoy your present by living and looking at life with the bright side of aging. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Network Radio Show. Our mission is to interview successful entrepreneurs who are willing to share with us their ideas and experiences, both the successes and the failures. Because as it has been jokingly said, you should learn from the mistakes of others because you'll never live long enough to make them all yourself. My name is Ike Engelbahn. And I'm the founder of the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan, which is a group of motivated people that are all interested in helping each other and achieving our personal and professional goals. Please check out our website, entrepreneursnetworkofmichigan.com, for meeting schedule as well as self-improvement material. Our philosophy is that if it's to be, it's up to me. Family run for over 88 years, French Hardware has remained family owned and operated. French Hardware is one of a kind. You'll find the newest products offered on TV at very competitive prices. You'll also find safety products, grab bars for bathrooms, battery operated light switches, remote control devices that you can turn your lamps on or any electrical device. You don't have to run out there anymore. Just press the button. Better yet, just visit Friends Hardware, located on Main Street at uh, and 11 and a half mile road. And they're open every day. If you wish to call, it's 248-544-8111. That's 248-544-8111. Better yet, just visit 11 and a half mile road and Main Street, Friends Hardware. Do you like snacks? Well, why don't you try the Auri Bakery folks that have now created three new flavors of gluten-free granolas. Maple vanilla, blueberry, and toffee chocolate. All sold in 16-ounce bags for just $4.99. All new is Ori's cinnamon pull apart made with Danish dough and rich cinnamon filling. It's great with coffee or milk and hard to stop eating. You will find all these items at the Ori Bakery Market on Farmington Road between I-96 and Plymouth Road in Livonia. Try it out. As Jackie Gleason used to say, how sweet it is. And it's sweet to be with you, um, especially when I have the joy and privilege of interviewing one of our entrepreneur members. And uh, Randy Wright uh, has got a great name. Uh, Randy's last name, Wright, is spelled W-R-I-G-H-T. So if you want to be right <laughs> without the W, Randy is your man. Yeah. Randy is an author, motivational speaker, and a business life coach who teaches uh, the transformational skills that help people achieve their goals and dreams both personally and professionally. I've had the privilege of having Randy speak to our entrepreneurs group and uh, I actually have spoken to the Rotary Club and the Optimist Club as well and he's always 
been so well received. Said, can we have him speak again? <laughs> so, guess what? I said to myself, self, yeah, why don't we have him speak again? So, this coming Tuesday from 12 to 1, our Entrepreneurs Network Zoom meeting uh, can be actually heard all over the world. If you're interested in getting to hear Randy speak and have a Q&A interactive uh, conversation with him, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, call in when uh, we're having our meeting. As you well know, our toll-free number is one eight 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 four eight nine eight nine eight zero. But uh, Randy, unfortunately, I don't know if I had anything to do with it, but he was a local resident in Michigan. But he said, you know what, I think I'm going to move to plain old Texas. <laughs> but that's okay. We're still in touch. He's going to be our speaker, which I'm looking forward to. And he's going to be promoting and talking about his new book. Uh, he uh, has one on the market already. His new topic that he has an e-book, it's on Amazon and... The topic is, it starts with a thought. Is that correct, Mr. Randy Wright? Yes, yes. Good morning, T.I. Yes, it starts with a thought. Well, that's great. And I have a series of, as I like to call them, uh, icisms. And uh, one of them, uh, and uh, in fact, I do not make these up. A lot of them I just repeat because I think they're repeatable and are worthwhile repeating. And that is you fail in life in one of two ways. You do without thinking or you think without doing. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so in your book, it starts with a thought. Uh, is uh, there guidance you can say uh, why is creating a business or being a successful entrepreneur all starts with a thought? What's what's your thinking? <laughs> well, because everything that's been created in the past or the present, it all started with a thought. Uh, whether radio or television, ships to trains, automobiles and planes, from houses to hotels. Think about the music we listen to, from music to medicine, business to buildings. They all started with a thought. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, uh, I uh, just wondered if you have had uh, any particular people uh, that you'd like to share some of the thoughts that they had. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, and some of them are have inventions or have done significant things with their lives and has literally changed the way we live. Think about Henry Ford created the Model T with a thought. Walt Disney created his motion pictures and his animated cartoons, and he opened up his theme park, Disneyland and Disney World, all with a thought. Hmm. Think about Steve Jobs, the uh, person who created the iPhone. Whoever thought that we could take our cell phones, our iPhones, and talk to anybody all over the world at any time or any place, even doing this this radio mm -hmm. interview. Mm -hmm. Normally, and I've been around long enough to know in the past, we had to use a rotary phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now, we got a, a iPhone that we can text people, email them, make movies, make videos, all with an iPhone. But it all started with a thought that mm -hmm. Steve Jobs had. And one of my favorite people, uh, Tyler Perry, I don't know if you know him or not, I'm sure you probably heard your name, but he's uh, the most successful African-American uh, filmmaker. And one of his hilarious uh, uh, characters that he created called Mark Deer, uh, Tyler Perry got his, you know, start doing his play, you know, with this uh, older African-American woman that he created after his mom and his auntie. But he went on to uh, produce hit plays and movies and one of the things that really impressed me about Tyler Perry was he went to Hollywood to push his TV shows and his movies, and he left there with 
Hollywood wasn't on the same page that he was. Hmm. So he thought when he got back home to Atlanta, Georgia, he went out and looked at the old Pan Am airport. He said, why am I create my own studios? Hmm. And from that one thought, he hmm. created the Tyler Perry studio. Hmm. Just with a thought. Hmm. Hmm. So these are people I could, just like you and I, but the difference is they took an ideal and stretched it and saw beyond what other people said couldn't be done, and they did it. And hmm. that's the power of starting with a thought. It doesn't look like too much today, but if you stick with it, what it become tomorrow to be something that literally changes the world or improves our lives. Mm. Well, you know, you remind me of a great line that uh, uh, actually uh, Robert Kennedy, when he did the eulogy about his brother John, at the eulogy, he said, one of the things that he admired most about his brother was the fact that, uh, and that apparently it comes somehow from the Bible as well, is that some people look at things as they are. Others look at something and ask what it could be or why is it not. And I think that's the wonderful thing if uh, obviously, we cannot underestimate the talent because, like you brought out, some of the great inventors of our time, like Henry Ford and what have you, he thought, uh, why can't we have a carriage without horses? <laughs> okay. right. So right. it's he wanted to see something that wasn't there already. And if you have the talent, and here's something that I stress at our meetings as well. If you've got a great idea, or at least even if you think it's a great idea, network, and that, that sounds maybe like a personal plug, and, and it is. That's why we have our meetings. We've been meeting for over 5050, almost 5050 five years, and we bounce different ideas off of one another, and many times the word network answers it, you team up with somebody who can take it to the next step. And one of the walk away messages that I like the listeners to walk away with today is that when you have an idea and you're getting, you know, uh, some negative feedback, don't give up. Find other people that share. And I think one of the biggest reasons a lot of people fail is they pick the wrong partner to take it to the next step and I look upon it like a baton race where you're supposed to pass the baton on to the person behind you to keep it going and if you hand it to the person behind you and he drops it (laughs) you obviously ain't going to make the goal line but that doesn't mean you give up on the race so I, I am really looking forward to uh, reading the book, and it's an e-book, and if someone is interested, how do they go about getting, it starts with a thought. Uh, they just go to Amazon.com, and the name of the book is Starting Over, Starting Over. It's a book that I co-authored with uh, a couple of other authors, Dr. Mary Seegers and, and, and Brenda Scott, two wonderful ladies who in their own right are uh, entrepreneurs and doing wonderful things, so you can just Type in there, uh, starting over, just put my name in, Randy Wright, it'll come up. It's available uh, in the ebook form, or if you want to order it, you can purchase it also in the paperback. But it's something that I think, uh, it, it was written uh, during these pandemic times, and just to, to give uh, someone, just like you just said, I, that if you have a thought, if you have something that you want to do, this will boost uh, uh, your courage and just give you that confidence that you can do it because everybody's not going to see what you see. But if you just believe what you have, get around people just like I said, who you feed one another, you encourage one another. There's no competition. That's one thing I always tell people. We don't need to be in competition. Each of us are on a team. Here's my motto. I don't care who gets the glory. I just want to win. 
<laughs> the book again is titled Starting Over and the key is uh, I guess Winston Churchill uh, can be credited he says never never give up alright so if you so if you start over <laughs> and uh, you're a perfect example of the whole networking concept and that is you are co-authoring the book, which means that you're collaborating and networking. And anybody out there that wants assistance in writing their own book, I know Randy is a very giving guy. He can give you some guidance on how you can write your own book and thoughts. And now with technology, you could be almost famous instantly <laughs> if you get on the right. That's true. <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> Uh, before we part company, are there uh, any areas of our lives that we should improve our thoughts? Yes, uh, that, that's a really important question, Ike. Absolutely. Because in order to um, know that everything in your life starts with a thought, there are five areas. The personal life, professional life, or career, and your relationships, health, and then finances. And just real quick, in your personal life, personal development is so important. I heard Ike even mention that when you first, you know, when you do your promos. In your personal life, you must have some type of self-improvement or self-growth program to improve yourself. You should be better five years ago today than you were then. And in your professional life or career, I see people who are retiring. I know some people who are clients of mine, and they're retiring at 52 years old. And I'm saying, okay, do you have an exit strategy to once you leave this job, what do you want to do? Okay, I want to start a more business. Well, I want to have a non-profit organization. I said, well, you need to be getting busy right now, putting a plan of action together, putting your thoughts down to see what you want to do. And then in our relationships, the pandemic, it's taken so many of our families and friends. I, but some of the positives that I was able to gather out of this is when I saw a family of five on their bike, riding to the park, spending time together. And then when I saw this dad throwing the ball in the front yard, playing catch with his son, I was like, oh my goodness, it took me back to a child. Uh, we played, uh, family games, Monopoly, the game of life, you know, the pandemic. It was, it, it was negative in the, in, in the sense that it, it took people away from us, but I also feel it was a time to bring our family back together, to spend time, to realize that family relationships are so important. And then in our health, what thoughts are you thinking in your health? Mm-hmm. If you're not thinking thoughts to improve your health, then, wow, you're really in bad shape. Mm-hmm. So it's important, uh, I think. I'll, I'll, I'll go into a little more of my story about how in 2019, never been in the hospital before other than a baby, but I was rushed to emergency and found out that uh, there was some things that I had to change about my health in order to go forward. So I'll cover that a little bit more on Tuesday. And then the last one, finances. Um, we need to think thoughts, to think long term. You know, um, there's a quote in the Bible that says uh, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children children. So we need to think about that we're going to leave here and there's nothing that we've accumulated. I don't care how wealthy we may be. I don't care how many automobiles, homes you have. That stuff is going to be left. The question is are you going to be a good steward enough to make sure that the next generation has been pre-prepared to know how to handle that? And I'll go on a little bit at that more on uh, next Tuesday also because there's some things you need to have in place uh, in order to build a financial uh, money defense. I call it a money defense. So, uh, and those five areas, personally, you should be improving, professionally, in your career, in your relationships, health, and in your finances. So when you take those thoughts and you put them together and put a plan of action, you'll come out on top. Wow. Well, what a great message, and you're a great messenger. <laughs> and next Tuesday, 12 to 1, it's a Zoom meeting. If you get on, please call our toll-free number, and I'll give you all the details, one 489 8980 
and uh, you can try meetup.com slash uh, events like Engelbaum. But I still like the human being connection. Just call and we'll put you on our contact list and you get a chance to talk to Randy Wright uh, so he can keep you right on. <laughs> and you mentioned another magic word, which is self-improvement. Uh, one of my icisms is, is that education can give you a living. Self-improvement can give you a fortune. So keep on improving and keep on listening. And let's stick with right on with Randy Wright and his book, Starting Over, ebook. Right now, I have to part company for this visit, but we'll see each other and talk to each other soon. Uh, right now, we'll take a brief break, and we'll be right back. Don't go away. For over 30 years, Cruise Hearing and Service has helped thousands of people improve their hearing and enjoy the sounds of their life again. If you don't hear as well as you like, Cruise Hearing can help you. They have actually hearing aids that not, the batteries do not need to be recharged. And they also have a caption phone that you can view for free. And also the phone, if you're over 65, is available to you free. So any phone calls you get, you can see captioned if you don't hear that well. Hey, they've got other stuff. If you'd like their free cookbook, call 1-888-489-8980. That's available. You can call Cruise Hearing Direct at 877-456-2789. The number direct is 877-456-2789. Family run for over 88 years, Prince Hardware has remained family owned and operated. Prince Hardware is one of a kind. You'll find the newest products offered on TV at very competitive prices. You'll also find safety products, grab bars for bathrooms, battery operated light switches, remote control devices, that you can turn your lamps on or any electrical device. You don't have to run out there anymore. Just press the button. Better yet, just visit Friends Hardware, located on Main Street at uh, and 11 and a half mile road. And they're open every day. If you wish to call, it's 248-544-8111. That's 248-544-8111. Better yet, just visit 11 and a half mile road and Main Street, Friends Hardware. And Friends is not the only place you can go to uh, to help keep us on the air. As you know, this is what you call a station that uh, you pay to play. <laughs> we pay for the airtime and we hope that we uh, connect with enough people to uh, actually shop at our sponsors. So by all means, I try to make it as uh, productive a visit as is possible. And that's why, uh, because I was very close to uh, Bob Allison, who used to be on the air, initially started off with bowling for dollars. And it's amazing how many connections he made over the years. And then he did the Ask Your Neighbor show and uh, his format was uh, home improvement stuff as well as recipes. So uh, he left uh, some of his books and I'm working with a rotary to raise money for the Rotary Club. And if you have an organization that you want to use it as a fundraiser, by all means, get a hold of me, 888-489-8980. It might be fun, especially with the summer coming on. Uh, to just cherry pick different recipes and maybe have sort of a potluck type <laughs> dinner <laughs> and get together with some of the other people that uh, are in your life. One of the things from the shutdown that I found interesting is that uh, I have been able to reach people uh, by phone and with Zoom meetings and all 
that I really was too busy when we were, you know, running around uh, and trying to be in uh, several places and shake hands and and now uh, the sexy or buzzword, so to speak, is hybrid. Uh, perhaps your organization might want to consider that, and that is that uh, you could have Zoom meetings. Uh, with the capability that you pick a spot where people that want to get together in person and at the same time you have it on a Zoom meeting. If you're interested in starting with little chapters of the Entrepreneurs Network, I've been doing that for years. would love to work with you. I try to bring out the positive aspects of starting your own business. And one of the biggest uh, aspects, in my opinion, the benefits of being your own boss is that number one is that you don't have the fear of losing your job. The other part is there, I think, something inherent, especially with the entrepreneurial mind that we have in our state, in our country. It's ironic. Our uh, state is shaped in the form of a hand. <laughs> so we actually uh, can uh, use the hand as a way to help other hands to uh, not just have empty hands, but hopefully some green stuff called money. And uh, I am here from the Entrepreneurs Network of Michigan to tell you that there are some phenomenal opportunities. And like Randy Wright, who we just talked to, uh, who's a business coach, first step is to assess what your strengths and weaknesses are. It's called the SWAT test, S-W-A-T, strength, weakness, action, and time sensitive. So in other words, evaluate, what am I good at? What would I do, even if I wasn't paid for it, that I'd love to try? The other, the weakness is, Hey, this is an area of the finance part. I'm not really good part. It. Or the legal part. Well, the finance part. I don't have the money. Well, guess what? Our team from the Entrepreneurs Network can help you in those areas. It's called networking. <laughs> N-E-T. Where just like when you go fishing, you throw out a net instead of just the bait and, <laughs> and string <laughs> and hook. This way you can get a whole bunch of fish. Not calling you a fish, by the way. <laughs> but point is, you can do so much more when you're with, uh, working with the network of people. It's called networking. It's not called not working. All right? Worst thing is just to do nothing. And saying, gee, I should, could, and what have you. And that's what will one of the most frustrating things I run into, and that is many times people will come to uh, our meetings and we have some time to talk afterward and they'll tell me, you know, I should have done this, I should have done that. And I said, well, why don't you do it now? I said, oh, no, it's too late. I'm not old enough uh, to get into uh, or to this whole thing. Well, truth is, do it now if you know your evaluation. We can help you identify your strengths and weaknesses. Right now, unfortunately, I don't have enough time to expound, and I do have enough time to share my favorite parting thought from the Entrepreneurs Network, which is, if you really want to get anything done in life, you'll find a way. And if you don't, you'll find an excuse. And there is no excuse for not achieving your dreams and goals in America because it is the greatest country in the whole world. Remember, a goal is just a dream with a deadline.
Hello, Michigan. For the first time in history, you can impact on how district maps will be drawn in Michigan. Come learn and address the Michigan Independent Citizens Redistricting Commission about its role in drawing maps for Michigan's congressional, Senate, and House districts at public hearings held at the Village Dome at Fellowship Chapel in Detroit on Tuesday, June 15th, 6 p.m., or at TCF Center on Thursday, June 17th at 6 p.m. You draw the line, your district,